attack the ball as high as possible. It doesn't matter if you're going to hit the ball as hard as you can or if you're going to make a shot. You must attack the ball as high above your head as possible. Plant your feet, jump explosively, and reach as high as possible every time you attack the ball. Do not drop your elbow and let the ball come down close to your head. If your elbow drops when you're attempting a shot or a spike, it greatly limits where you can hit the ball and also makes your attack much easier for the defense to read, dig, or block. Every time we're practicing this, remember we're reaching as high as we can and snapping up here. Remember, it doesn't make any difference whether you're trying to hit the ball hard or if you're just making a shot. Hit the ball, attack the ball as high as you can possibly reach. This is how you're going to teach your body how to do it. It's very important that you take two hands and learn to toss the ball up with two hands. Okay? The reason we want to go up with two hands is because now it's the same as the, the jumping motion. Both hands go up. So we're going to take the ball, two hands, toss it up. That gets us, you know, we're practicing the same motion every time. After you get used to doing that, now you can bring one hand down and turn. You could spend hours doing this every day, teaching your body how to do this into a net. Ball, two hands, toss it up, reach high. Once you get used to snapping at the ball, making sure you see your hand hit the ball, your hand over and going into the net. Now let's go over the net. So right now I'm, gonna, I'm on the right side. I'm going to practice a, uh, a line shot. I'm not going to be jumping. I'm just going to get used to going up on my tippy toes, making sure the ball's not coming down to me and snapping at the ball. I'm going to resist the urge of looking to see where it landed before I make contact. Move your feet. Now I can see where the ball went. You can do the exact same thing for a cut shot. Throw the ball up, reach. I see my hand, then I can look. This is something you can practice over and over and over without a partner. The key parts of this are going through all the motions we already talked about in terms of your arms, keeping your chin up, keeping a relaxed face and an open hand. Another big part of this drill is learning, not having your heels in the sand. Just like when we're passing the ball, we want to be up on our toes. Same thing on this, uh, this drill. We want to be on our toes and moving to the ball. The ball's not going to come to me. I got to go to the ball. Remember, we're attacking the ball. So even if I'm not jumping, I'm going to move my feet to get into position because every time I throw the ball it's not going to be perfect. So I got to move underneath the ball, reach for it, snap on it. In fact, when you're reaching for the ball, you know you're in a good place that if you didn't hit the ball, it would almost come down and hit you in the face. That's how far underneath the ball you need to be when attacking the ball in beach volleyball. So we're going to move our feet and go up on our tiptoes. How do I put top spin on the ball? Top spin just happens. It will happen automatically if you have your hand open wide and turn it over. You don't have to do anything other than that. You snap your wrist over, top spin will happen. You're not trying to put top spin on the ball. Top spin will just happen if you do the right technique.